All right, YouTube family, we got another one. So Offset this time and Cardi B, you know, the couple married and all, they get it into it with basically with Nicki Minaj artists. Um, I don't even know this cat, but it's Tate Cobain. I get it, copying Kurt Cobain. But let's get into this article and see what we got to talk about. <laughs> So they get into some things with this artist from Nicki Minaj. I I know Nicki and Cardi B got a long history of drama and situations of things they go through. So let's read what they got to say about it. It's saying Cardi B and Offset are beefing with Nicki Minaj artist Tate Cobain. The beef erupts with Cardi set and Tate Cobain. I like what XXL Magazine did. They kind of mixed Cardi and Offset together, but they said things got erupted. Basically, on July 28th, Offset released his new single with Cardi B, Jealousy. Y'all go check that out. I kind of heard some snippets of it. I need to listen to the full thing, but it was popping. Let's hear a little bit of it before I start it right quick. Hold on. Yeah, let's do that before we There's even continue with it. Drama. Let me fast forward. I mean, y'all go check it out. It, it goes brazy. I ain't gonna even cap. But their new single, you know what I'm saying, they just released, which was preceded by a promotional video where Offset addressed his issue with Cardi in a hilarious parody of a viral James Brown interview from 1988. On Sunday, July 30th, Tate Cobain who is signed to Nicki Minaj, new label, Heavy, on it appeared to send shot at Barty and possibly offset all those PR stunts, he said, but B. He basically calling, you know what I'm saying, offset a pussycat with all those PR stunts, you know what I'm saying? That's why they think it's offset he coming at. Now, Cardi B caught... Uh, the win of the post and responded in a since deleted tweet how you a grown ass man subbing me cardi commented under take cobain's post i don't give a f who gassing you grown blank man watch your mouth when you addressing me in the comment section of instagram blog post about the issue cardi b noted this was the third tweet about me by the way so she's basically keeping receipts she's keeping points she letting homeboy know like we watching we see the slick this is enough and if you think about it y'all gonna call her petty maybe she is but most people would be petty if you got like an arch nemesis aka enemy aka ops and they got this personnel they're signing with them you're gonna be paying attention what they saying about i wouldn't personally do it but cardi obviously does it and i feel like now you getting your man offset into it i don't know what take cobain is is he like that is he a street dude is he chasing clout is he trying to get licked back for nikki let's continue reading now cardi b noted this the third tweet about me by the way after a cardi fan posted and noted that take cobain has liked a post of video a post of a video showing Nicki Minaj fans rapping her song Red Ruby the Sleeves while Cardi B was on the red carpet at the 2023 Met Gala. Cardi reacted, oh my God, even more weird. And they're more, hey, I'm sorry, this, those type of beefs kind of hilarious as long as no violence get into it. Now, Tate Cobain responds. In the response, Tate Cobain joked, Cardi B having a drink thrown at her during a show over the weekend. He shared a GIF of someone getting a drink thrown in their face along with the caption, Bleh! said, <laughs> cuz funny so far. I don't know who he is, but he hilarious. Offset, oh, oh you know Offset gonna enter the tweet. Offset entered and got involved and he's entered the chat by sharing the Twitter post implying he wanted to link up with Tate Cobain. Where you at? Offset tweeted along with an eye emoji. I'm up at Linux Ma. Tate Cobain responded. Sheesh, Atlanta beef get nasty, by the way. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't live in the South like me, it get kind of brazy out there. He responded, ain't even nothing else to talk about. Sheesh, cuz ready for all the smoke. I don't even know who Buddy is, but this great promotion. I'm about to check out who the hell is Tate Cobain. He said, 
ain't nothing else to even talk about. It's unclear why Tate Cobain has issues with Cardi B, the magazine writes, other than his allegiance to Nicki Minaj, as I said before. I understand it. Now, look at the drama over here on this. Uh, um, the Neighborhood Talk releases some IG posts. And he, this would take Cole Bang Road if y'all think it was Cab. He wrote all those PR stunts. But B, he basically said Offset doing all this, but he's kind of weak, you know. I'm, 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 I'm translating it for the YouTube algorithm. We don't want to use certain words, you feel me? Now, Cardi B, you can see where she asked him how he a grown man. I'm just showing you the receipts so you know I ain't making this up. Because it's like WWE at this point with hip-hop. Can we be real? It's like the SSL 3000. You get that new car, but it was gassed up like a Subaru. And they don't even drive the right way. Even a Nissan Altima drive better than this. So it's almost the same thing with today's beef, but this seems like a fresh beef is brewing. The neighborhood talk, Cardi B says Cardi B and Offset had a few words with the producer. Okay, Take Cole Bang is also a producer. I thought he was just some rap dude. Producers make money, more money, by the way. Message, but anyway, let's keep going. Now, Cardi B dropped by the neighborhood with a message by those wondering why she and Offset address music producer Take Cole Bang. Now, over here, you could you guys can read it with me. She writes at updates of Cardi B. Mind you, this nigga been obsessed with Cardi since May, and she let you slide. Sheesh. Cardi B fans be going brazy too, just like Nicki Minaj Barbies, bruh. Now Pop Bass said crowd raps along the red. Ruby the sleeves by Nicki Minaj as a Cardi B proposes on the red carpet. Bro, I mean, poses on the red carpet. Bro, you can see how all this got initiated, how it got started. It's one of them things where it can either go way left or it can stay right there in the middle like good old-fashioned hip-hop beef that doesn't produce no violence, no drama. Well, drama, of course, but the record sales for both parties just go up. We hope it stays there. Now, we know the long history between Nicki Minaj and... You know what I'm saying, Cardi. But now her man is involved and Tate Cobain is involved and both of them going to ride. A lot of people are going to be saying, why he going hard and he ain't married to Nicki? Don't Nicki got a man? But if he has an allegiance to this queen that's called Nicki, you got to be fair. All these rap dudes got their entourage. They be seeing folks in them in the mall and they get brazy with them. And y'all don't really say nothing. So to make fun of Tate Cobain, I understand if you don't like him because you're a Cardi fan, but you got to also understand his side. He's going to have allegiance for uh, um, Barbie. You know what I'm saying? He's going to show that he's going to be loyal to the end of it. So I, this is not really a shock or a surprise when an artist who signed to another artist and they go out and, and jump out the window to defend the person that they have or initiate full contact because it is a full contact sport in hip-hop y'all let me know in the comment sections did take cold bang take it too far by doing too much did offset needs do offset needs to fall back from this and let his woman handle it or should he do the right thing and stand in it because he's a man and it's another man throwing shots at him and his woman um do you think nikki should address it and say something let me know all this in the comment section so i can rebuttal and give you my opinions that i'm going to shine on in this but with that without further ado man peace and love to all of y'all deuces